In this tutorial, we shall be learning 10 easy Excel tricks in which you have done before now. It will make you an expert on the instant in Microsoft Excel. First, go to this website, powerspreadsheet.com slash excel dash keyboard dash shortcuts. You will see over 350 Excel shortcuts and hotkeys that can make Excel very easy for you. If you go to office.com, you can be able to access Office 365 for free. If you have an account with them, you click on sign in. But if you don't have an account with office.com, you click here to create a free account with them. Once you are through with signing up, you will have access to Office 365 and on the left side, you will see Excel and other Office 365 apps to use for free. When you enter a function or formula in Excel, for example, concatenate, click on this FX and click on help on this function. This will open up the function helper. This helper will walk you through on how to use the function or formula that you just type in in the Excel. If you want to highlight the entire Excel sheet, instead of using Ctrl plus A to highlight the document, just put your cursor up here and click on it. This will highlight the entire Excel sheet on the inside. If you are having issues with keeping the heading of the Excel sheet in place due to the amount of information contained, go to View tab, click on Free Space, select Free Stop Row. This action will freeze the top row of the Excel sheet so that as you scroll up and down in the course of your assignment, the top row remains static, making it easy for you to know where to put the necessary data. When you have a situation like this, the names and the date of birth in the same cell, and you are to separate it into first name and the date of birth. Separating it may be difficult at times. So the best option to do this is to first copy and paste the names. Then you copy and paste the date of birth. Click on the next cell below the names that you have just copied and click on Ctrl plus E. Doing this on all the columns you wish to fill up all the information. If, if you want to filter the documents, you want to know the quantity of the products you have sold out, you click within the cell and click on Ctrl plus L. This will create a table and put a filter drop down arrow. When you click on the arrow, you will see all the products you have. Click on select all to deselect them. Choose the product you want to know something about and then click OK. This will select only the products that you want to filter. If you want to zoom in or zoom out in Microsoft Excel, hold down the control key, use the mouse wheel to either zoom in or to zoom out in Microsoft Excel. When you want to move column or row, you highlight the entire column, put your cursor here until you become four-headed arrows, you hold down the shift key, then you can move it to any position you want it to be. If you want to copy column or row, depending on the numbers you highlight, put your cursor here until you become four-headed arrows, hold down the control and shift key, then you move the column to anywhere you want it to be and it will be copied. To create space in the column or row, you put your cursor where you want the space to be, you hold down the ALT plus I key, then you release the 
alt key and press the R key. This will put space within the rows. If you want to add space within the color, you hold down the alt and I key, then you release the alt key and press the C key. This will give you a column space. And if you want to have more space, you keep pressing the F4 key to have more space. So I hope you have gotten some value from this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a like, subscribe to this channel, click the bell icon so YouTube will notify you once I drop a new video. Do share this video with family and friends. Have a great day.